spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. No one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make the slip. Couriers finally really did it. They blew up the lands west and east of the Mojave, damning them all to hell. The act was discovered 200 years later as other couriers explored the Mojave wastes. There, they saw NCR relics, reminders of their once proud history. Hopeville burned lightless in the night, invisible fires of radiation scorching it from within and without. It is said a man still walked its streets with a tattered jacket and old world flag etched on the back. He remained there, perhaps as punishment for the scars he left on the wastes, or a reminder of a history he could not forget. For Ulysses, his journey was over. The courier had been the end of his road. As for the courier, she turned her back on her home for the second time and made her way back, navigating the treachery of the divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure, as if recognizing the courier's right to passage, or out of fear. The courier walked until she stood again upon the edge of the divide, the last road she would walk before the second battle for Hoover Dam. There, beside her feet, was a final package from one courier to another, a footlocker bearing a gift and a message. But that message, it is something for couriers to carry and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide, reminders that the old world histories persist and find meaning in the present. It said, war, war never changes. Women do, through the roads they walk. And this road has reached its end. <laughs>